my name is B. Santosh Kumar, Assistant Professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. My subject is Computer Architecture. Today, I am discussing about organization of a computer in, con in control memory. So, what is control memory in an organization of a computer? The control memory consists of a microprograms that are fixed and cannot be modified frequently. They contain micro instructions that specify the internal control signals required to execute registers, micro operations. The machine instructions generate a chain of micro instructions in the control memory. So, the control memory is a storage in the microprogrammed control unit to store the microprogram writable of the control memory. The control storage whose contents can be modified allow the change in microprogram and instruction set can be changed or modified in referred to as writable control memory. When I am using the control memory, so in this control memory, it is belongs to CPU. Already we know that the CPU consists of control, uh, control unit, memory unit and ALU. So in that control unit and memory is a very, very important role. So the control memory consists of a micro program that are fixed. Any of the instructions we are uh, defining in the CPU, the control memory is, uh, is activated. So, it the contain micro instructions that the specify the in control signals required to execute register of the micro operations. Micro operation means, suppose I have to go for the addition of two numbers and uh, subtraction, uh, division, multiplication like this. So, the, the internal, the machine instructions generate a chain of micro instructions in the control memory. So, the control memory is the store age of the micro programmed control unit to store the micro program and the writable of the control memory. So, the control storage, when I am using the ALU, suppose I am writing one program, so it is executable in the memory unit, the memory unit is uh, very very requirable and the control memory is uh, adjustable in that. So, the control storage whose contents can be modified, allow the change in micro program and instruction set can be changed and modified in referred as writable control memory. So, suppose I am taking the here block diagram of a control unit. So, instruction register IR, I am taking the instruction register means, suppose I have to go for the addition of two numbers. Suppose add AX, comma BX. Is it instruction or not? Yes, it is one instruction for addition of two numbers. So, it is a instruction register. I am taking the two registers. Example, I am taking AX and BX and the control unit. will It will be controlling all the memory unit and ALU supporting instructions. So, these are the flags are there and it is a clock pulse. If you need, you can adjust this one clock and control signals with the CPU. So, CPU with activated inputs are there, that is a control signals and control signals from control bus and it is a control bus of this one. Control signals to control bus, it is a control signals from control bus. Okay, it is going to control bus to control unit. It is from control unit to control bus. So, why all those needs? Suppose I am going for the addition of two numbers, that is add AX, BX. So, these control signals with the CPU, I need a CPU with arithmetic logic in it. Then only it is executable. So, flags are there to further input inputs and the clock is needed for the input signals to monitor in the particular time I need a particular output. So, control signals with the clock pulse is very, very important. And control unit has a two lines are there. That is a control signal from control bus and a control signal to control bus. And memory unit and control unit and ALU all are needed in the CPU. ALU, control unit and memory unit. So, when I am taking the CPU with ALU, memory unit and control unit is there. So, when I have to instructions are there, instructions I need. So, what are the instructions means? Addition of two numbers. Suppose, add AX, BX. So, it is one instruction. It is for ALU. And how many registers we need? I need a two registers. So, the two registers I need a address and data. I need address and data. So, where is the data is there? I need a particular address. So, suppose these are the address is there. 0, 0, 0, 0. So, it is a data. Example I am taking, it is a 8-bit data. So, it is a AX example and it is a BX. So, 
this ax value where is it there in the particular uh, address here this bx value is there where is it it is in the, in the particular address okay so i need a address and a data so how we are controlling the control bus will control all those things so control bus is monitoring what are the inputs you are given what are that inputs are is it any data is there yes the data is there but where is that address is there okay i need a address with the data so ax and bx control unit will monitor where is the address and where is the data is there so control signal from control bus control signal to control uh, bus that means input to cpu and output from cpu like this so here a control memory is a part of control unit any computer that involves microprogrammed control consists of two memories and they are the main memory that the control memory and the programs are usually stored in the main memory by the users whenever the programs change the data is also modified in the main memory it consists of machine instructions of the data the control memory consists of a micro programs that are fixed and cannot be modified frequently they contain micro instructions that specify the internal control signals required to execute register micro operations so, so when i going for the control memory so what i need what we need a control memory is a part of control unit so already you know the control unit is very very important in the cpu so any computer that involves micro programmer control consists of two memories so ram and rom they are main memory that means here yeah, main memory means i am taking as a rom and the programs are usually stored in the main memory by the users when you are executing the program that means you are executing in the rom but when we are compiling then the ram is needed so two memories are required to executing a program and the programs are usually stored in the main memory by the user whenever the programs change the data is also modified in the main memory it consists of machine instructions of the data so how we are giving the instructions to the cpu that instructions i am taking as a machine instructions of the data the data is there means differently i need a address so the control bus consists of a micro program that are fixed and cannot be modified frequently they contain micro instructions that specify the internal control signals required to execute the registers of the micro operations so what are the micro operations are there suppose i am taking move ax comma bx add ax comma bx rotate ax shift bx like this so these are the micro instructions are there so any of the micro instructions i am taking as a so these micro instructions i need the control memory consists of micro programs these are the micro programs that is already we discussed these are the micro programs so what are the micro programs we need that is be fixed and cannot be modified frequently and they contain micro instructions that specify the internal control signals required to execute each, uh, each micro operations so each micro operation every micro instruction uh, micro operation it will be check reassigning it is it correct or not it will be reassigning so the control memory consists of micro programs that are fixed and cannot be modified frequently and they contain micro instructions that specify the internal control signals required to execute register micro operations and the machine instructions generate a chain of micro instructions in the control memory and their function is to generate micro operations that can fetch instructions from the main memory and compute the effective address execute the operation and return the control to fetch fees and continue the cycle and the below figure is general configuration of a micro program control organization we will discuss this one but when the micro operations are the machine instructions are there so when i am going for the machine instructions machine instructions means suppose add x comma bx it is converting to the machine understanding instructions okay machine language these micro instructions these micro instructions in the control memory in the control memory or in the control unit their functions is to generate micro operations micro operations means what are the arithmetic and logic operations are there those are the micro operations and that can be fetch instructions from the main memory to compute the effective address execute the operation and return the control to fetch fees and continue the cycle okay how it is executable means here the micro programmer control unit of a basic computer system so 
how the control memory is working in a basic computer system okay in a computer what is a control memory and it how it is organized and it how it is uh, working in a control memory so it is a block diagram of a micro program or control unit of a computer memory so i am giving the here some external input so next address generator that is called sequencer control address register control memory control data register when i am going for the add ax comma bx example so after then i need int 03 so how many are there i am taking one example these are the two instructions i need so first input is a add ax comma bx next address generator means sequencer so what is the present instruction is there what is the data is there and what is the address is there and what is the next address generator how we are generating the next address suppose add x comma bx some 00, 00 address is there int 03 00, 001 address is there so what is the 000, 000 is already compiling so what is the next address 00, 001 so next address generator is a sequencer sequencer means what is the sequence of next line so that is the next instruction that is a 00, 001 control address register means what is the present address and data what is the next address and data and the control memory control memory means where these programs are stored where is the memory so where it was stored all the instructions are where the where is the source file so that is a main memory that is a rom so we have to use rom and control data registers means how many data lines are there how many instructions are there those instructions are they specified in a data or they specified in a control memory and control data register means what are the inputs are there suppose how many registers are there here ax and bx are there how many registers are there here control data registers are two registers are there how many bit size is there is it taking 8 bit so we have to give we have to allocate a register with the data and address that is a control data register it is a control word so what is the output of the control word so it is a next address information so first one control word is there add h comma bs is there so what is the next line now so next i i have to go for the into 03 i have to execute so again it is going to the next address information after then it is showing us into 03 so like this so in the organization of a computer the micro programmer control unit of a computer we need inputs with the next address generator and the control register control memory and the control data registers so next address information is for after the execution of first control word then it is going for the next line next instruction that is a next address information it is about the micro programmer control unit of a micro computer or a basic computer so in this i am taking a input and i have i need a output but how many are there in between the input output what are there actually we need cpu but here how many are there next address instructions i need a address and data and registers so what is the address of the instructions and what is the data in that register and what are the how many registers are you are creating for that so it input to output after then it is going for the next instruction it is the next instruction so here the control is presumed to be a read only memory that is a rom it is a memory main memory so where all the control informations are to be executed so here the control is presumed to be read only memory that is a rom where all the control information is stored permanently rom provides the address of the micro instructions the other register that is the control data register stores the main instructions that is read from the memory it consists of a control word that holds one or more micro operations for the data processor the next address must be computed once this operation is completed it is computed in the next address generator so when i am going for the instructions that is in the control p assumed the read only memory that means the main memory i need for the control instructions and the control information is stored is permanently how i am taking permanently means when i am using the rom it is a permanent storage that is the reason i need a rom with main memory and rom provides the address of the micro instructions the other register that is control data register stores the micro instruction that is read from the memory and it is consist of control what the holes or main memory of the micro operations for the data processor so when i am going for the address register this is the micro operations that this micro operations of the 
data processor the next address must be computed once the operation is completed it is computed in the next address present address is present micro operation is add x comma bx so what is the next i need next int, int, int 03 but we means i am i am stopping this program i am stopping this executable program so it is current uh, instruction is i address add a x comma bx and the next address line is a int 03 so it is a next address to compute the operation is completed it is computed in the next address generator and then it is sent to the control letter system to be read the next letter generator is also known as a micro program sequencer based on the inputs to a sequencer it determines the address of a next instructions the micro instructions can be specified in a several ways so when i am going for the cpu with memory unit control unit and arithmetic logic unit so this memory i am taking as a rom and the control memory means i am taking as a control unit as a control memory i am taking as a control memory and these are the arithmetic logic unit for instructions these are for instructions okay so it is sent to the control address register control address register so it is some 8 bit is there it is also some 8 bit is there so control address register what is the address of the data and what is the data how we are who is monitoring all those things means control unit will monitoring so it is called control address register the next address generator is also known as a micro program sequencer based on this input to a sequencer it determines the address of the next micro instruction the micro instructions can be specified in a several ways so present address data is executed then what is the next data to be executable so that is a important and when present data is executed what is means next data what is the next data can be execute so move ax move bx add ax comma bx into 0 3 so what is the first line what is the next what is the next what is the next so move ax move bx add x comma bx into 0 3 so how many micro operations are there means total four micro operations are there first one is a move ax then what is the next micro operation move bx add ax comma bx and into 0 3 so like this the control address register to be read first we have to read and what are the address generators is known as a micro program sequencer what is a sequencer first first sequence like this how many are here means here four sequences are there based on the inputs of a sequencer it determines the address of the next micro instruction the micro instructions can be specified in a several ways so the main functions of a micro program sequencer are as follows it can be incremented the control register by one it can be load the address from the control memory to the control register and it can transfer an external address or load an initial address to begin the start operation and the data register is also known as the pipeline register it allows the two operations to be performed at a time it allows performing the micro operations specified by the control ward and also the generation of a next ward so what are the main functions of a micro program sequencers so i have some four micro operations are there what are the uh, what are the conditions or what are the functions of there for the micro program mm -hmm. sequencer first one it can be incremented by the control register by one suppose i'm taking into 0 3 it is the last line what is the before line add ax comma bs okay after then it is executing so incrementing this line means suppose a plus a plus plus means incrementing means next line plus one incrementing with one inc increment increment one after then increment two after then increment three like this so incrementing the one 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 means next line next line it is going it can be load the address from the control memory to the control address register and it can transfer an external address or load an initial address to begin the start operation and it can be transfer an external address or load an initial address to begin the start operation so how can you transfer 
so after the addition of two members i am going for the executing how we are executing that means to transfer an external address or load an initial address to begin the start operation how we are loading means our assembly language is converting to the machine language high level language is converting to the machine language so we are executing or we are loading the initial address to begin the start operation the data register is also known as a pipeline register and it allows two operations to be performed at a time suppose two operations means at a time two micro operations are there one is related to another one so i need two after i need ax comma bx and i need int03 if these two are executable then only i will get the output that is for these conditions for these conditions the data register also pipeline register the two operations to be performed at a time at a time two operations is performed then i will get the output immediately why because these two instructions are belongs to only one program and it allows perform the micro operation specified by the control word and also the generation of the next micro instruction a dual phase clock is required to be applied to the address register and the data register and it is possible to apply a single phase clock to the address register and work without control data register the main advantage of using a micro program control is that if the hardware configuration is established once no further changes can be done however if a different control sequence is to be implemented a new set of micro instructions for the system must be developed so when i am going for the micro operation this micro operation a dual phase clock is required to be applied to the address register so what is the address register suppose i am taking ax and bx so these are data but where is the address is there where is the address is there i need a address register for the particular data that is the address register to work without the control data register without the control data register how the address register will be uh, created the main advantage of using a micro programmed control unit is that the hardware configuration is established once no further changes can be done however if a different control sequence is implemented the new set of micro instructions for the system must be developed so when i am going for the multiple micro instructions so add ax comma bx i have to add after the addition i am going for the shift operation shift ax after that i am going for the into 03 so it is a first instruction second instruction third instruction so the main advantage of using this micro program control unit is that the hardware configuration is established no further changes can be done however if a different control sequence is implemented the new set of micro instructions for the system must be developed so every micro instruction the new developed micro instructions are implemented micro instructions are implemented so so actually what is the control memory the major functional parts of a digital computer system is a control processing unit and memory unit and input output units the the main digital hardware function units of a cpu or control unit arithmetic and logic unit of the registers the functions of the control unit is a digital computer to to initiate the sequence of micro operations and to generate the timing and control signals the complexity of the digital system is derived from the number of sequences of a micro operations that are performed the methods of implementing control unit are hardwired and micro programmed instructions okay hardwired control unit and micro programmed control unit these are the two methods are implemented for the control memory so in the cpu in the cpu the major functional parts of a digital computer is a cpu memory and input output unit so when i am going for the cpu and memory and input output devices so these are the very very important role in the control memory the main digital hardware functional units of the cpu are control unit and memory unit and alu so this memory unit i am taking as a registers so control unit arithmetic logic unit and registers the functions of the control unit of the digital computer is initiating a sequence of micro operations to generate timing and control signals okay every instructions suppose i have a program with four micro operations are there or four instructions are there to generate these instructions i need generate timing and control signals the complexity of the digital system is derived from the number of sequence of a micro operations to be performed there are two types of implementing of control units are there that is a hardwired control unit and a micro program control unit so 
it is a cpu with control unit alu and memory unit is there so how these are interconnected input to output so when i am going for the input to output what are the interconnections are there so definitely we have to connect the cpu with the control unit memory unit and alu so these are the main uh, block diagram of the computer system with the five functional units input and output control unit arithmetic unit, logic unit and memory unit so the methods of implementing control unit are hardwired control unit and already we discussed here two types are there hardwired control unit and microprogrammer control unit so what is a hardwired control unit when the control signals are generated by the hardwired the logic gates flip flops decoders encoders and finite state machines these are the hardwired control units are there logic gates means i have to go for the and operation or operation not operation okay nand operation nor operations so these are the arithmetic and uh, arithmetic uh, these are the logic gates are there that is a logic operations to perform the logic operations arithmetic operations means addition subtraction multiplication and division so these are the arithmetic operations and these are the logical operations so for the logic gates means logical operations i need a resistors flip flops decoder encoder finite state machines etc for the hardwired control unit means these are hardware without hardware we can't do anything so what are the alus are there arithmetic logic units are there without hardware how we are how we are executing all the programming okay so definitely we need a hardware or hardware so it involves use of fixed instructions fixed logic blocks of and or arrays encoder decoder etc the key characteristics are the high speed operation expensive relative complex and low flexibility of addressing of new instructions so what are the hardware are there in the cpu intel 8085 motorola gilog and any of the risk cpus are there these are the hardware i need to implementing the logic operations or implementing a program or micro operations okay it is one basic control unit of a basic computer uh, what are there here means here control logic gates are there that means a control unit is there and control unit is there only control unit is enough no i need a logic gates i need a logic gates and i need for alu so alu i need control unit i need okay and memory also we need so decoder encoder it is a 3 by 8 encoder is there so 3 by 3 3 to 8 means 2 cube equal to 8 so 3 inputs 8 outputs here 4 into 16 Two power four, four inputs are there. Two power four equal to sixteen. So four inputs, sixteen outputs. Four by sixteen. So four input lines are there. One, two, three, four, and sixteen outputs are there. Zero to fifteen outputs are there. Here also three inputs are there. I am taking three inputs here. So how many outputs are there? Here I am taking eight output lines are there. So three inputs. One, two, three. How many outputs are there? Zero to seven. Total. Eight lines means eight outputs. Here two cube equal to three inputs are there. So three inputs two cube equal to eight. That is a eight output lines are there. So here I am taking zero to sixteen or zero to fifteen. Total sixteen instruction registers IRs are there and three uh, to eight decoder. And uh, these are connected to D not to D seven and T not to T fifteen. Uh, D not to D seven is a data line, eight bit data line, and uh, it is connected to control logic gates and uh, control outputs are there. And four by sixteen decoder is connected to control logic gates. Four bit sequencer is connected, and uh, incrementer it means incrementing one by one. And clear operation means we are clearing all the inputs and outputs. And uh, clock pulse is needed. If you connect, then you can connect. It is a block diagram of control unit of a basic computer. Here. <coughs> in this we discussed here today the only hardwired and micro operations are there here the odd hardwired means already we discussed registers flip flops encoder decoder logic gates we need so the control memory consists of a micro program the fixed cannot be modified frequently and the control unit is a storage of micro program the control unit to writeable control memory and control storage whose can be modified allow the change of micro program the instruction set can be changed in the modified uh, referred to as writable control memory so here it is a block diagram of a control unit with instruction registers flags and clock 
if it is i'm getting the output that is a control signal to control bus and i if i need input that is a control signal from control bus to control unit and it is a, about the control memory and the control memory is a control unit to computer involves the micro programmed control system of two memories that is a ram and rom the control memory consists of micro programs that are fixed and cannot be modified frequently the machine instructions to generate a chain of micro instructions in the control memory their function is to be generate micro operations and here it is a block diagram of micro programmed control unit of a basic computer it is the external input and the next address generator control address register control memory it is the main memory memory main memory and control data register and the control ward it is the output of the present ward and what is the next address register is a, it is going to the next line next address of, of the micro operation okay and here the control address registers to be read and write operations are there with the micro program sequencer and it, we have to determine all the address of the next instructions how we are uh, defining it to the in the several ways uh, what are the several ways means it can be incremented by control registers and it can be loaded by the address of the control memory to the control address register and it can transfer an external address or load an initial address to begin the start of a register the data register is also known as a pipeline register data register is also called the pipeline register means in, in next to next next lines are to be come okay after the executing of one line what is the next what is the next address so like this it is a pipeline are there and the micro operation specified by the control ward and also generation of the next micro instructions and the dual phase clock is required to be applied to the address register of the data register the main advantage of using micro program control is the hardware configuration is established and it is about the control memory with the, uh, how many types are there means hardwired and micro programmed so it is a hardwired it these are the references here we discussed here hardwired what is hardwired but already we discussed in the starting session micro programmed control unit so it is about the micro programmed control unit it is about all those things are micro programmed control unit so it is about the organization of a computer in control memory thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates